Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. And in this video, we are going to learn about filter function with five different examples. So friends, if you're watching my video first time and if you want to learn Excel, you can go through my channel playlist. In playlist, you can find Excel for beginners, which contains 33 videos and Excel level two, which is advanced Excel, which contains 62 videos. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. Coming to Excel, you can see here, there's a student table which contains student name, course, marks, branch. Now, I want to create some data based on this table. So, based on this table, I want to create some data by using filter function. So, let us start using filter function. So, what is my first example? Criteria. So, my criteria is going to be CEC. That means, I want to get all the student details who are doing course CEC. So let us start filter before starting filter check the all column headings they should be in the same order as per the table for example you can see here student name it is in the first column right here also it should be in the first column course it is in second column here also it is in second column right so let us start filter so i will type filter open bracket first it is asking array right so i will select the whole table comma Second, it is asking for the criteria. Include means criteria. So what I will do, I want course, right? So I will select whole column of course. In the course, I want CEC. So I will type CEC in the quotation. Okay. And close bracket, enter. Nice. Now automatically, I got whole table who are doing the course CEC. Nice, right? Suppose if you don't want to type in the quotation, you can also select the cells. Suppose I, I can remove the CEC and directly I can select the cells. Okay. Enter. Nice. You got the same result. Suppose if I change CEC into MEC. See, dynamically it is changing. Right. Suppose if I change MEC into MPC. See. Nice, right. So this is how filter will work. Okay. So let us see next example. Error handling. So let us see how filter will help us in handling the error you can see here there is a course mpc right so in place of mpc i will type hec and i know that there is no course called hec so let me type hec and click enter let us see what will be the result so if i click enter see what it is showing it is showing the error right but i don't want to show the error instead of error i want to show not found okay so how we can do it the filter will provide a, another option called if empty so after h1 if i keep comma you can see here it is providing another option called if empty so what i will do i will just type not found okay so if i type not found so whenever it doesn't find any answer instead of showing the error it will replace the text not found okay so let me click enter nice suppose if i type mpc again see it is showing the result and if i type HEC, see it is showing the answer as not found. Nice, right? Now let us move to the next criteria, next example. It's a multiple criteria using AND. Okay. Now I want to implement more than one criteria at a time. For example, I want course CEC and uh, marks should be greater than 900. So I want to implement both the criteria at a time. So how can I do? Let us see. So again, I will go to the filter function. In the filter function, you can see here, right? Uh, C5 is to C14. That means course. Course should be H1, right? So I'll just make this in bracket. Okay. And uh, now I will type asterisk symbol. The asterisk symbol which we use for multiplication. And again, another bracket I will take. Okay. So this time what I will do? Again, I will select the marks column greater than which one marks 900 right so i will select this cell h2 close bracket enter nice now you can see it is showing students course cec and marks greater than 900 nice right so this is how we can get multiple criteria not only two you can also do three for example again i will go to the filter and here suppose i want another criteria like a student branch should be hyderabad right again i will go after the bracket and again i will type asterisk symbol again open bracket again select the branch 
equals to Hyderabad. I will type HYD here itself. Close bracket, enter. See, now it is showing course CEC, marks greater than 900 and branch Hyderabad. Nice, right? So like this, you can select multiple criteria. And this is based on and condition, right? For example, it should meet condition, first condition, course should be CEC. Second condition, it should, uh, marks should be greater than 900. Third condition, branch should be Hyderabad, right? For example, I want to get student details either CEC or MPC. So how can I do it? This time we, we have to use or in place of and. So when we are using asterisk symbol, it will be treated as and. And when you are using plus symbol, it will be treated as or. So let us see how it will work. So I will just remove the other conditions. I will just keep only one condition that is the course should be course should be CEC. Okay. And again, I will keep plus symbol. After that, again, I will select the same column. Okay. Same column. Course. Now what I will do, I will give a condition is equal to okay mec okay so again i will select the next cell close bracket enter see what it is showing it is showing all the student details who are studying in course cec or mec nice right so this is how our multiple criteria using and or will work okay so you should use a symbol asterisk symbol for and and a plus symbol for or okay so let us see how we can use functions we can also use functions like sum and average in filter. So let us see how we can do it. For example, I want to get all the student details whose marks is greater than average marks. So before going to the filter, let us know what is the average marks. So I will just select the whole marks column and uh, go to the average function. Click on average function. Now you can see it is showing 849. So 849 is the average marks. So I want to get all the student details greater than average marks. So let me go to the filter. So here filter I will just remove the criteria, previous criteria. In place of this, first I will select the whole marks. Okay. So whole marks and uh, in that it should be greater than average marks, right? So what I will do, I will implement average formula. So I will type average which average again whole column of marks right so indirectly i am saying that 849 so in place of 849 i am writing directly average marks column right so let me click enter and you can see the result okay so 850 is also greater than 849 940 960 980 990 all are greater than 849 nice right so this is how we can implement functions within the filter nice right so friends i hope you have understood filter function keep practicing thank you